This is AQA Statistics Continuous Random Variables 4. This video is about deriving the formulae for the mean and variance of the rectangular distribution. The rectangular distribution is symmetrical, so therefore the mean is equal to the median. And both of these are at the midpoint between A and B, therefore a plus b over 2. Now, while we know this, it is also a requirement that we derive the mean by integration. Please pause the video to remind yourself how we find the mean of a continuous random variable by integration. Here is the formula. We need to integrate x times f of x to find the mean. Here is a reminder of the PDF for the rectangular distribution and here we see how we use the PDF to find the expected value of x. Integrating from a to b x f of x. Here are the first two steps of the integration and we can see that x becomes x squared over 2 down here and then we substitute in b and a to derive this expression here. Uh, the numerator now can be factorised, so if we write that, that's the difference of two squares, so if we write it as b plus a times b minus a, and then of course in the denominator we've got 2 times b minus a, so these cancel and we finish up with the formula that we were seeking to derive. Here is a reminder of the formula for deriving the variance of a continuous random variable. Please pause the video to read the slide before continuing. The expected value of x squared is derived by integration and it is the integral of x squared f of x where f of x is the PDF. And this, is, this forms the first term of the formula for the variance, and we then need to subtract the expected value of x squared. Please pause the video to do this integration and then compare with what follows. Firstly, x squared upon integration becomes x cubed over 3 and we then substitute in uh, b and a and derive b cubed minus a cubed over 3 times b minus a. Now we can see that b minus a will actually cancel into b cubed minus a cubed so it's important now to work out the factor form of b cubed minus a cubed. So we start with b minus a there, we can see there must be a b squared at the beginning and there must be a plus a squared at the end. The balancing term in the middle is going to be um, plus a b here. So if we now put our denominator back in, we can see that the expression that we've derived for the expected value of x squared, b squared plus ab plus a squared, all over 3. On the left here we have the expression we just derived for the expected value of x squared, and of course the expected value of x was the midpoint between a and b. So if we square that, we finish up with this second term here. Please pause the video to simplify by bringing to a common denominator of 12. So to get the common denominator of 12, we need to multiply the left hand fraction by 4 and the right hand fraction by 3. Please pause again to simplify.
So if we look here then, we've got 4a squared, subtract 3a squared, so that does leave us with a squared. Uh, we've got 4ab, take off 6ab, so that leaves us with minus 2ab. And then we've got 4b squared, take off 3b squared. So again, that we finish up there with um, plus b squared. Uh, that's all over 12, of course. And the numerator, of course, does factorise. And the way we're going to factorise that is b minus a squared over 12. I wouldn't matter if you put it the other way around, of course, because if you square something that's negative, then it will finish up being positive. This is the formula for the variance of the rectangular distribution. The standard deviation of the rectangular distribution can be found by taking the positive square root of the variance. So we have b minus a divided by root 12. And that completes our work on continuous random, random variables 4. Uh, it's the last in the sequence.